elected uh, mayor, city mayor of Leicester. Um, and it's an absolute delight to have this as my really very first public duty because I can't think of anywhere more appropriate than to be in Leicester Market because since pre-Roman times Leicester at the heart of its county has had at its heart its market it's an historic market it's one that's seen many changes over the many centuries since its first foundation and even many changes since its present inception of some 700 years ago and of course those changes have enabled it to keep pace with changing times and that's really what this development here this market corner is about it's about keeping pace with changing times with changing needs and making sure that Leicester's market remains at the heart of our city and our county in the centuries to come as it has been in the centuries past and it's a really great pleasure, as I say, to, to be here to see what I think is a very exciting development and a very appropriate development, one that really does meet the needs of markets, traders and those of us who are regular customers here and hopefully the many more who will, in the decades ahead, recognise that Leicester's market really is a gem. And it's a gem, of course, that is nationally recognised it's something that helps put Leicester on the map and something that over recent years has continued quite rightly to win awards and in recognizing those awards and in recognizing what's done there are some people who really do need to be thanked for what's been done and what's been achieved here and I'm going to pay particular tribute to Andrew Smith who's been project director to Nick Rhodes who's away on holiday today and isn't able to be with us but of course is the market manager to Simon Taylor the project lead to Deborah Rose design advice to Joe Harkin the market development officer but even beyond them and I'm sure they'll forgive me for, for saying even beyond them I want to pay tribute to the market traders because they're the ones who make this market as vibrant as it is and build its success for the future I want particularly to pay tribute to Don Alfonso, councillor Don Alfonso now, uh, and, uh, and her husband Gary, to Paddy Deavy, to Adrian Pohl, to David Swingler, and many others who've been a part of this. And I'm sure they'll forgive me if I haven't mentioned everybody who's been a vital part from the traders' side in making this possible. I want to pay tribute to Bagley's uh, and Outreach Signs, who've been the contractors for this. Uh, and all of those others, no doubt many, many others, who've helped to make this possible. What strikes me about the development here is just how good it looks, how appropriate it looks, and how well it fits in with its surroundings. Because it does, as you'll see behind us there, open up this side at least of the Corn Exchange and enable us to see these facades of the buildings surrounding the, the square here that are all part of the setting of the market and I do think I ought to say a little bit about where we go from here because I think we must build on this achievement we must continue to recognize that other parts of this market also need to change that there's work to be done on the meat and fish section of the market perhaps to bring it outside who knows we need to talk with the traders we need to talk about whether in fact that's now rather tired building behind us there the the market hall needs significant investment or perhaps even who knows needs to come down to make way for something new and more appropriate we need i think also to look at the surrounding buildings and to think how we can work with those who own those buildings to encourage them to invest in their refurbishment to improve the setting and i think we need to look particularly at what was the former Odeon cinema there which as you'll see is now looking rather sad and rather tired and very inappropriate we need to look on the other side at the former fish market and see whether that area too has potential for improvement. Now, it's going to be difficult times for all of us involved in the public sector to, to get the sort of money to make these things happen. But I will just give you my commitment and the commitment of those councillors who were elected alongside of me just last week that we are determined that Leicester Market will continue to be in our hearts 
at the heart of our city and at the heart of our county and central to our thinking about the future of our great city. I think I've probably said enough for now, but I know that my colleague here, Councillor Paul Wesley, who's been intimately involved in bringing us to this stage, mustn't be denied the opportunity to say just a little bit about how we get here before I do actually cut that ribbon. Paul, would you like, just very briefly, just to say how you and colleagues have, have led us to this point? Thank you, uh, Mr Mayor and uh, fellow councillors and mainly the public because they're the ones we're going to need in the future to keep the market as a, and obviously beyond that. It's been a long journey. I felt like a political football along the way because the doubting, obviously uh, many of you read in the Mercury about uh, the unsure that the traders were so unsure, but we had a vision that something had to change in this market. It has been a long road, and as you know, uh, the, the Mayor has stated, resources are very tight in the public sector, but we, as uh, my colleagues on the group, were committed to put this money in. Having toured the country and had a look at how other markets go, and, and within Europe, um, I think today is the testimony of all the hard work for everybody and I was determined that the market needs to change, we need to adopt to modern shopping practices and everything else. There's various things, the Mayor's absolutely right, we will be committed to uh, keeping the market regenerated as and when the resources uh, are, are available. But it's been well worth taking the flack and everything else and the uncertainty but I'm sure this market corner, a lot of other markets across this country will come and have a look and see what they too can achieve. Leicester is now firmly on the market map and uh, we will keep it there. Thank you Mr Mayor, thank you ladies and gentlemen, the battle has been worth for. Well done Paul, thank you, thank you very much indeed. Right, now I think it's now Paul for me to actually do the business. And they have a, a lovely big pair of scissors here for me. And I'm going to put the microphone down, if you'll excuse me for a minute, because uh, actually, before I do that, I will actually formally declare this market corner open. And, and in doing that, again, please ask you to put your hands together for all of those who made this possible. Thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, it only remains to say thank you very much for coming along today. Enjoy it. And by, well, I do actually highly recommend the coffee. So that's a good place to start. But you can go on to Bobby's and all the other traders straight afterwards. Thank you very much indeed for joining us.